Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics. Uh, this is an undercarriage video for a Triumph Vitesse from 1965. It's a Vitesse 6, which means it's, well, I guess a 66 cylinder. However, it's a uh, 1600 model, uh, Mark 1. And for, so from the off, uh, let's just sort of stand back and hopefully what you can see, I've got my little torch going, is a car that is fully under sealed. So I'm just going to sort of give it a, a walk down here and so I can show you where these outriggers under sealed, the chassis rails, there's no structural corrosion ruining the party. Those outriggers look to have been replaced, they're in excellent condition. Uh, it's very common actually for the outriggers to be done. They have this sort of banjo shape rear axle as I call it. Can you see the way it runs through the middle and widens out at the back? And depending on the application, i.e. Spitfire, Herald or GT6, you will see a slightly different setup of the outriggers. But basically these body of Triumphs were very similar and stainless steel exhaust, just a single box. So as you can imagine, it's got a great tone, nice solid boot floor and any welding that's ever been required has always been done. It's in good shape, properly seamed. So from an MOT point of view, we always sell our cars of a year's MOT anyway, but what I'm seeing here is lots of new nuts and bolts, certainly for where the seat belts are. Uh, when I get in a bit closer, oh, that's actually a bit easier to see this one. You can see that UJ joint. You can see that's all nice and new in there. Really well maintained, uh, moving through to the front. You can see there's a new upper ball joint on there. That's what I'm sort of shining. Calipers, disc brakes on this model, very chunky discs on them. Uh, new shock absorbers front and rear. Uh, and you can see there's a new flexible brake hose on the front. And same story the other side, and there's a new upper ball joint. Very easy to get to because of the way the front of the bonnets flip open. Um, these wishbones are in good condition and those springs and shock absorbers are new as well. And as I walk to the back, you can see similar story, excellent condition, that sort of torsion arm there and shock absorbers uh, are new. And uh, yeah, really, really well maintained. This car is ready to go. She's uh, super solid underneath. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'll step over here. And one of the important things with uh, these uh, Tesses and Heralds from this era. Let's have a quick look at some of these lines. And it's very important, especially on a convertible, to make sure the doors actually open and shut, which they do very nicely on here. No doubt this has had new seals all round. In fact, this car um, has been treated to uh, a rather nice shiny paint job all the way around as well. And I know I called this a, a video to cover the undercarriage but actually this is a decent angle to have a look at some of these um, gaps which are quite important because of the flexibility uh, in the convertible uh, sometimes you don't always get such nice panel gaps let's take it around the front as well to show her off um, so this car's got its sort of uh, yeah they, they got a special word for it it's not it's not leatherette it was sort of um, Something along those lines, and basically leather cloth, I think it was called, which is a posh name for plastic, really. But it's got black interior and old English white paintwork, which is in really good nick. Uh, in fact, it's lovely, and the aluminium, which used to clad the bumpers exclusively on the uh, the tests, is in nice condition. I mean, this isn't a mint, just fully restored show car, but it certainly is uh, in excellent condition. And with the bodywork looking as nice as this, I don't think you'll be spending out on anything like that for a while. But no, she's lovely, and uh, I wanted to show you her while we had her up on the ramp. And uh, anyway, thanks. Danny at Bradley James Classics, signing out. Cheers.